Greetings, students. Welcome to Complexity Fuel. My name is Mr. Little, and today I'm looking at this really awesome picture of these Aztec warriors. Now, when we think of the Aztecs, one of the first things we probably think about is them as warriors, right? We think of their elaborate and beautiful war costumes with feathers and animal skins. We might think of their incredibly sharp obsidian blades. And all of these images are without a doubt based in reality. The Aztecs were a militant war society that built their empire on conquest and tribute. This is not in dispute, but I think sometimes this fact overlooks some of the other more complex facts about Aztec society. And that's what I wanna have a look at today. What do you actually have to know about the Aztecs when it comes to AP World Unit 1? All you really have to know is about state building practices. So let's talk a little bit about that, but in a somewhat more unique way, let's make things a bit more complex. So let's talk about the All-American Trade Route and the All-American Traders. Did you know that the Aztecs actually had a class of merchants? These were called Pochteca. Now, what's really interesting about the Pochteca was that they were incredibly important in Aztec society and Aztec economic life. They were the ones that took long distance trade missions and brought goods to the elites and to the commoners alike. However, like in China, they were not seen as favorable, right? Even if they had amassed huge fortunes, they still were not looked upon favorably by the ruling class and were obliged to hide their wealth. They could not be seen to be more wealthy or more successful than the ruling class or the warrior class. This is very similar to the situation in China as it relates to its Confucian value. Merchants were not something to be admired, not socially desirable. Now, while the Pochteca may not have been sanctioned by the state, right, they nonetheless carried out long distance trade missions, brought goods from far away into the Valley of Mexico, and they opened and closed the markets. According to the Florentine Codex, which is also where that picture of the Aztec warriors I showed you earlier was from, the Pochteca were organized into guilds based on locations. Every major city in the Aztec empire had a Pochteca guild, and within the guilds there were different ranks and roles, very similar to the late Middle Ages in the Italian peninsula. One of the other really cool things about Pochtecas, being the only group that undertook really long journeys really far outside the empire, is that they actually did serve the state in its sort of secret capacity as spies. And there's some really cool stories about Pochteca going out and bringing back information to the rulers of the Aztecs about the tribes just beyond the border. There's a legend about a group of Pochteca traders getting ambushed by a group of enemy warriors and being able to fight them off without needing the help of the Aztec ruler's soldiers. This so impressed the Aztec ruler that he said, I'm going to give you a special job to be my espionage envoys outside of the empire. So again, not looked upon as a desirable position socially. Nonetheless, the Pochteca played a very critical role in the Aztec state, providing luxury goods to the elite, as well as serving the spies to protect the interest of the state. We don't normally talk about trade routes when it comes to the Americas, even though in Afro-Eurasia, we've got the Silk Road and the Indian Ocean and the Trans-Saharan trade route, and students of AP World have to know how those interact, but we kind of neglect the Americas. But proof, uh, if you need any, that there was active and alive trading in the Americas would be this great Aztec serpent, which you can find in the British Museum if you ever have a chance to go there. It looks cool on its own. Look at it a little bit closer. It's even cooler. So for example, this beautiful teal color you see, that's all turquoise, which was imported from what is now the southwestern United States. The teeth of this serpent, those are spiny oyster shells, which come from the coast uh, the Atlantic coast near the Caribbean. These things would not have been found in the Valley of Mexico. And therefore, even though officially there is no major trade route in the Americas, the Pochteca remind us that there were in fact trade routes in the Americas during this time. <clears throat> so when could you use this information on what kind of essay would this come in handy? Well, if you had an essay in which you were discussing the role of the state in promoting trade, or maybe in this case, you could use this as a counterexample of the state not promoting trade, or how states respond to wealth accumulation or how elites respond to social and economic change, the example of the Pochteca might help you to make your essay just a little bit more complex. Hey there, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was able to help you. If you appreciate this kind of work, please like and subscribe. And of course, I welcome any kind of feedback or suggestions, so feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Mr. Little, and I'll see you next time.